Let's do uh, Let's watch uh, Let's mute this guy. Shut up man, okay. Let's do uh, let's watch Kapoch no not Kapoch. Bling against uh Kazva here. Not sure how far in they are. We'll fast forward a little bit in the dark age. We'll do the usual where do we wall kind of judgment. So we have uh, Kazwa. Probably makes sense to wall there. Let me move a little bit here. Probably makes sense to wall here, 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 and here. That's the natural wall, right? Um, circles. We should have production military buildings. Depending on where you scout, you could place them in this direction. Or you want them in like this area to be closer to... Uh... Shit, I didn't mean to cancel everything. Or in this area to uh, be closer to the ex gold, pretty much. We have a blings map here. Uh, we have quite a natural wall for bling as well. And this is an option. But most likely we'll go there. Maybe something like this. Something like this, and then the top side there. That's the natural wall, kind of. But I think Bling doesn't like to wall that much, so there's a big chance he will play quite open here. But we have, anyway, mines for Bling. Or some Sam, some Ayan Kai. We have Kaza with the Chinese, so two of the top, top civilizations. Um, top, top civilizations. So, uh, very possible that uh... Oh, Primal Dwarf from Bling, adapting to new times. Uh, we have two powers here. Sorry, I was getting a message there. Um, how do you choose between my arms and Dwarf, assuming you plan on going Archer? Kind of what you feel like there and then, sort of. And yeah, what, what save you're playing against. If you're playing as a save that is it's not really a like yeah this and that it's not really that simple it's more like on feel what you feel like doing and how you wanna if you want to have the early initiative or if you want to have the more power powerful man arms opening or if you want to go for the drush to get the early units out on the map it's not that simple so yeah Blink is going for the wall that we did kind of map out there whoa okay. That's good to see. He could actually trap this. I know that they're, they're busy right here now, but that scout could have easily been trapped. Let's uh, slow down the game to normal speed. Yeah, very awkward situation. If you guys remember when we watched Mem earlier, suddenly you have four vills trapped inside. Like, uh, Bling should stay there, honestly. If you're Bling here, you stay there. Because we had four vills trapped on three tiles. They would not be working effectively. Bling should have just stayed in this area with this militia and kept hitting forever. Because that would have kept forced three or four idols. Pretty much three idols the whole time. In my opinion, that would have been the better choice here. But yeah, Bling going for the massive walls, actually. He doesn't actually see the end of the map here, but it looks like he's going to complete the whole, whole way there. That's a massive, massive wall here for Bling. Uh, Causeway is also kind of walling where we predicted. He's going for mana arms opening with Chinese. But he's in long distance mining gold. He could only afford two militia so far. And he can't afford mana arms. This is very awkward for Kazva. Very, very awkward. Something has gone wrong in the transition here. And now doing a range. A little bit of an awkward position as well. Very, very awkward here. Still long distance mining stone gold, right? And he cannot afford mana arms. There's three militia kind of just sitting there. And yeah, Bling is gonna be fully walled by the time any of this actually comes across. Bling is also on the way to the village. Could be a oh, it's going straight for plume dodgers. Going for the cheeky mining camp here. Not a big fan, actually. I would have placed two mining camps here. Because you need to take gold anyway, right? At some point. And right now, there is... Look at my manual grid mod. There is two tiles in between. And that is not effective. So... That's a low elo mining camp, kind of. I would have personally gone double mining camp. I would have made... One here. And maybe one there. And taken gold, taken stone. 
I'm not a big fan of the um, double mining camp. But okay, it's actually going to kind of work out for him because he's uh, he's going to be um, applying a lot of pressure here, Kazva. So we'll have to see tower towers in defense from Blink. He's doing double palisade. Hallelujah! <laughs> God. Double palisade walls along the whole map. Massive investments there. Uh, we should be able to get the walls down though. So good on him. Losing one villager in the process. And he's going to have to react with a defensive tower immediately. Because uh, if Kaswa gets in here, that spells trouble. Still those militia there. And still not used of the archery range. First archer on the way now. Is Bling also opt for going all the way back? Like you have two options here pretty much. You could easily... You could easily do a, um, you could wall like this, right? And place a tower here. That would shut down all the pressure coming from, from Kasa from this angle. Now the tower is annoying, right? But you just place uh, like a house, place a house there, and you can palisade wall the rest here, right? And then you just place your own tower and you kind of shut down the pressure from there. So. Kasa would probably switch and go all the way up, maybe in this direction, and start here, and then you just place your own tower here again, and then you're kind of safe. What's happening now is that the army of Kasa is inside, and they can move, maneuver pretty much wherever they want around and put pressure all over. And you can see Bling now dropping a tower up here and a tower on the stone. So Bling is in a very, very awkward position right now where Kasa has all the initiative. But um, still, definitely a close game by all means. We have to see how it continues from here. Probably this the issue with this tower as well is like just to oops, just to point that out as well. The issue with this tower right now is that Kasva can drop a tower here. Wrong thing, Kasva. Shit, Kasva can drop a tower there out of the range of this tower and he will still be able to to reach this area right which effectively takes bling completely off of stone now bling has a has a stone in the back so he can probably just move to that one so he's going to be fine either way but this goes to show the problem with the with the tower that bling preemptively placed here there we can see that eh? just hitting the wall I mean, Kasov doesn't have stone for a tower yet, so he's kind of waiting for the stone to come in. Being uh, pressured on the top side here. There's a uh, ranged blacksmith from Bling. I like this. Not sure why there's a gap there, but okay. Nice quick walls here as well. Some the arms try to apply some pressure. Still no follow up tower here. I still prefer Bling's position in some ways. Because uh, he he wants to make that plume dodge transition. Okay, is this even in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think that's in range unless he has fetching. Strange. Nice split. Oh, really nice micro from Casper there. Very very nice. Yeah, I don't think that's in range. Oh, Bling is going for it. Castle with some quick balls. Okay, Bling thinks twice about it. See, he's trying himself to trap the men at arms now. Getting some good hits now, but yeah. These men at arms aren't that important anymore. But nice nice trap either way. Also traps one villager, sort of. If he places another gate here, then that army... Ooh, places the gate there. Is that one villager? Let's see if that villager makes it out alive. Looks like it will, so... <laughs> both of them kind of getting... Uh, it's getting quite messy here. Bringing back the Drush to help defend. Interesting move here. A very, very messy situation right now, but yeah. I would say I still prefer Link's position simply because... He, no, actually no. Kasra has a way smoother economy development in the back. I think if Bling... I think Bling could have easily bought time. Like Again, goes back to the whole thing, process of just walling there, place a tower here, and you shut down every, all the pressure on this angle, right? I think that's what Bling had to do, and now he's going to be quite behind in the castle this time, so... Kazwa looking probably quite good there. Alright, 
right. The um, tower, oh, there's only 70% on this tower. So Bling will likely lose a village or two here. Yeah, very low HP bills here. Ooh, if they survive. What? <gasps> this guy has one HP. What? He survives. Madness. Yeah, Bling needs this tower. If he doesn't get this tower up, there's a full disaster. He's oh, he's sending the boys and the girls. He's sending everything. He wants to take down these towers now or never. If he walls here, right? If he walls here now, Kasa will actually lose everything. Like just wall there, close the gap, make sure Kasa can't escape, and Kasa will lose everything. Bling might lose a villager two or three, but Kasa will also lose everything. This is actually a, quite a good move by Bling. The issue with this is that it still is a lot of idle time as well. So while he will fend off the pressure, he will also be still far behind in the uptime. But still, that was, a, that was a good move by Bling. Uh, just needs to chase down these villagers now and make sure they all die. And he can transition to the castle edge and do the plume dodges that he desires to do. All in all, pretty solid uh, reaction from Bling. Maybe that should have happened a little bit earlier even. He needs to put these farms to use. He has like five idle farms up here with no villagers working on them. <laughs> Cosmo running around with three villas in the base. Cosmo is securing his, the rest of his base as well. He's just going to finish off the walls. Probably on the bottom side as well. And would not be surprised to see a market either from Cosmo. But yeah, village count 29 to 40. Very rough. Yeah, 13 villages have gone down from, from, from Bling. It's a very tough spot to recover from, especially against the civil like Chinese. I don't think Bling realizes that he has idle farms here. Just made two new farms and sent more bills to wood. It's five farms that are idle. Wait, what? Did he not spot the villager? There's a villager from Crossbow Alive still. Ah, he, he walks in the range. If he stayed outside of the range and walked along here, maybe he could have gotten away. <laughs> Three villagers running around in the base. Super annoying. But yeah, it's gonna be real tough for, for Bling to ever come back from this. I mean, Cosmo still has a tower on the main gold. On the way to the castle age. His base is nice and safe. He has an 11 villager lead and he's on the way to castle age. It's gonna be really hard for Bling to ever come back here. Let's speed up the game a little bit. Score is super misleading, indeed. Look at the scouting as well. About the same scouting. But uh, yeah, bling. Yeah, score is super misleading. It's about, it's, bling is on the way to cast edge though, just a minute and 15 seconds behind. But it's honestly not that bad. If he gets a castle up, he gets plume dodgers. Plume dodgers are, are an amazing unit. It's only five villager difference. This is not as bad as it looked earlier. If you get plume dodgers out, they are one of the best units in the game and you can make magic happen with plume dodgers look at all the upgrades coming in look at the chinese that's the chinese bonus right there discount on upgrades balcon arrow crossbow heavy plow bowsaw and wheelbarrow all at the same time and armor that's the chinese bonus right there my own privilege that's how it works he's gonna come in through the palisade walls on the bottom part We'll see where Bling decides to drop the castle. Probably somewhere here to clear up the tower. Not the best location for a castle, simply because <clears throat> it also removes the whole surface area here, right? There's no way for Bling to use this part of the surface area effectively, right? Because he cannot place a mining camp anywhere. That makes sense, right? So his mining camp or TC has to be on this side. Which means it's also exposed from enemy units. Here's the plumes are trash. Well, here also went Hun's long swords, and he also said you know, that you should get armor upgrade first on skirms. So we all say weird things. Well, Bling still is getting in. He's missing Botkin Arrow though, it's gonna be crucial. He needs Botkin Arrow, he needs Equal Upgrade. Like, Bling is really far behind economically. But he has a castle up and he has access to one of the better units in the game uh, when it comes to cost efficiency and potential. So that is still huge for. Uh, like, that's 
That's pretty much what gives Bling a small chance still in this game. But by all means, 3 TC for Kazva, Monastery. Kazva is in a really commanding position. See Rookshop Manginel's coming out. It's gonna be really hard for Bling. He walled way too big. I don't think he walled too big. I think his walls were fine. Now this this wall right here is obviously quite big. Maybe this one. Yeah, this wall is quite massive. But this wall, that wall, you see that wall? It's a huge wall. But it does a nice job protecting this whole this whole area here, right? So I, I don't mind that wall actually. But you might make an argument for something like this, this, and this instead, right? But if you think about the tiles here, it's probably roughly the same, right? So I don't actually mind these walls from, from Bling. It's just that the reason why you don't want to go for these types of walls is because you're moving so far away from your base unprotected for for the early phase of the game. But since he got them up, I don't really mind them. Wipe a love in the paint, maybe? All right, so military numbers, Bling actually has an advantage there. He's 15 wheels behind now, even adding a second TC. I feel like Bling maybe had to go one TC here. Like get thumb ring, get ballistics, just full one TC and hope for the best with the plumes. You take stone and get like a second castle drop going. They are trying to play catch up on economy is uh, possibly not the way to go here. So obviously it's easier to say being the almighty and seeing everything. Danny boy, man. Oh, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna analyze Daniel's um, USA Cup games. How about that? Imagine the amount of criticism and learning we could do from that. Whew. How do you feel about doing things regarding food? I am quite hungry, but it's already like 11 p.m. Right? I'm not sure what you're thinking about. Could actually be interesting. I don't know what was the score even, uh, Danny boy. What was the score in your final? Even a third TC. I feel like Bling is kind of dropping the ball a little bit on that. Like he's not identifying his winning condition. Just, just tell me what you're thinking, and I'll, I'll probably be in on something. Um, I feel like Bling is not identifying his winning condition. His winning condition in this game would have been. Heavy pressure, one TC, try to utilize plume dodges. And that's kind of the only way. Any other approach pretty much loses the game uh, on the spot, right? You cannot play catch up. World of Pizza. We can do that. Just this is my last game. So if you just wait probably five minutes, I'm probably done. I'm probably done in like five minutes. Don't think this game will last too much longer. Yeah, this like it's not really too much to say at this point. I think, um, I think, yeah, you cannot like. I think one of the most important things in Age of Empires as well. That I think a lot of people struggle with, especially at lower level, or even on high level, even on higher level. I think it's to identify your winning conditions. What can you do to win the game? And or what chances do you have to win the game? Playing which way, pretty much. Uh, and in that case, in a lot of situations, like if you try to add TC and economy to catch up, sure, you might drag the game on for, you might drag the game on for 20 minutes playing like catch up, but you're probably still going to lose. So in a lot of situations, like it makes more sense to go all in rather than trying to play catch up, even though you might lose the game in three minutes. It's better than losing the game in 20 minutes with worse odds, if you get what I mean. ECI final YouTube upload when? Uh, I'm uploading my final group stage match tomorrow. So I would say the final, like the semi final and the final will come consecutively in the days to follow. Even a fourth TC from Bling, yeah, this is not, not really the play at this point. So probably Friday will be semi final and Saturday will be the final of the. Um, no, Thursday semi final, Friday the final of ECI. Reading the game is difficult for us in the lower level. Yeah, that makes sense as well. All right. 
like Bling obviously knows that he lost a lot of ills in the forward uh, shenanigans. He might have been misled a bit by the score. I will admit that. Wait, Bling is actually on the way to imp. <laughs> okay. Well, Mayans privilege. Uh, he's on the way to imp. Moving on to stone again, so he's gonna get a second castle and go soon. Um, yeah, Cos was on the way to imp as well. Like this st still should be impossible to come back from, but okay, let's see what happens. Um, uh, by the way, Shatsu, you can if you're ordering from World of Pizza, you can just do the curry thing, curry pizza or whatever it's called. Dinkle pizza, curry. What will you do if you're in Red's place? Resign. I saw you in my dream. We were falling down from the top of the mountain. And we were eating frozen jelly cross jelly crossbow. What? You were eating frozen jelly crossbows? Crossbow? What the hell kind of dreams do you have? <laughs> I was the Korean from a while ago. Really good actually. I tried three different Korean dishes now. The only one I really liked was Jakcha. The other one, I'm not really... I wasn't really enjoying too much. Guys, you know what this castle is called? Correct. Yeah, Bling doesn't have ballistics either. It's getting some decent numbers now. He actually has more military units, right? But... Three mangonels, there's still way more value or potential in the army of Bling here. Uh, of Kazba, sorry. Ballistics is on the way. Imperial Age is almost there. 25 village difference. Quite the brutal. Bracer coming in. Yeah, I just feel like there isn't really much. There's no thumb ring either for Bling. En engaging before Bracer because he just feels like he has to, right? Kasva hits Imp, and I think Bling upon losing this. Okay, guys. Never do this. Never do this when mangonels are around. This is actually, I'm pretty sure this is from a StarCraft habit from, from Bling. Uh, you never want to click the repair hotkey and your town center. Because the villagers will go to the core. They will go to the core of the TC to repair. They will go... The villagers will be repairing from this angle. And where do mangonels shoot? Mangonels shoot the center when you target the town center. So, you never want to click repair and then TC. You just want to click the TC with right click, which makes the villagers repair from the surface area around. And then you don't have the thing of uh, being hit by Magnus. Like, if Magnus now shoot the TC, he will lose villagers, right? No, Magnus don't... Look, he lost four villagers now in the center. Because the Magnus just clicked the TC. They always aim to the center. What do you think about giving Thumb Ring to Britons? I'm thinking about banning you for even suggesting that. That's what I'm thinking. Do you have any idea how good Britons arches already are? They're insane, dude. Yeah. Bling with a trebuchet here. 35 bills behind. It's a really rough situation. Um, he's not gonna come back from this. He's trying, though. Credit where credit is due. He's giving a good good effort. Okay, not a castle on the hill. Kasva is playing super safe here. He's just taking the hills. Like, there's an important hill area there. He might do a castle here next. And he just keeps pushing through the middle, right? Which is where Bling has a lot of resources. And the pressure. Oops, that was a little bit too far. And yeah, cast is gonna go down as well here. Kazva should have no way to lose this game. Oh, the pina colada ice cream. You find me drunk in front of my PC later. <laughs> this lady, guys. Oof. A pina colada ice cream? What the hell? Yeah, Kazva walling the whole map. Like, it's... It's like, he's like, yeah, like this is 100% safety, right? Not taking any risk. I mean, let's be real here. What Cosmo did 
is really good, right? If you ignore all the engagements and everything that is happening here. The walling he did, like even the even sec, like he walled, first he walled behind here, right? There's no chance for Bling to raid him. And he also makes those walls. Just like he's taking so much map control with these walls. And there's the, and there's another castle on the hill. Like Cosmo is playing this textbook long-term thinking, you know? But then I'm also looking, is all these investments he's doing on the sides hurting his position in the center? Because suddenly there's only a 20 population difference. And never under us underestimate plume dodgers. Can you zoom out a little more? I cannot go further than this. Is this fine for you? I mean, what Kazuba is doing is super good, right? But if it goes on cost of your pressure and presence in the center, I don't think it's uh, the best idea, but yeah, still. You know what? Murder holes? <laughs> He's just playing like super safe. Okay, Bling actually resigns. Wait, why would what? Why would Bling resign now? Like to me, Bling is now in the best position he has been the whole game. <laughs> of course, he's still in a really bad spot, but like now he was actually like approaching healthy-ish population. He has 110 villagers. Like drops five, like four or five barracks. Starts spamming halberdiers, and you can do magic with mines. He can almost afford a second castle. Obviously, he's still very likely going to lose this game. You do these arrows again that got you going. Are you already drunk? How many pinnacleadas have you had? What the hell? But yeah, like this is this now. I think Bling obviously is still ninety percent chance he's going to lose this, right? But he's actually in a position now where he could have tried to do something. Uh, but yeah, very solid player from Cosmo there, and the pressure was great. Good stuff. Nice.